morning everyone this is ananya welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to take a look at how to create custom thumbnail images for your youtube videos using gimp okay so this is the design of the thumbnail we are going to create today so let's get started so this is the home screen of the gnu manipulation now i need a transparent layer to work on so i'll go to file new and the image size should be 1280 into 720 because that is a size required for youtube thumbnails now you need to go to advanced options and fill with you get a lot of options here click on transparency and okay so now i have a transparent layer here now i want to add a background color for that i will create a new layer and i will change the foreground color to a shade of yellow you can choose any color you like and then i'll go to edit and fill with fg color there you go so you have a background now i want to add an image just like this so for that i go to the file and there is the open option right here so click on that i have saved this image already so i click on that and open it so you get it as a separate page right here now i need to take this image to our workspace here for that i'll go to the image go to edit and click on the copy option then i'll go back to our workspace click on edit again and there's an option called paste as so you get a lot of options click on new layer so now the image has been copied as a new layer to our workspace so now this image is too large so i have to make it small and for this i'll be using the scale tool right here so i click click on the scale tool and click on the image i want to scale and make sure this is logged then i will type in the image size i want so i'll type 1280 into 720 and scale there you go i have it in the correct size now i need to cut out the human figure from the rest of the background like this so for that i'll be using the free select tool right here so click on it so how you need to use it is click the mouse and draw different points like this and if you put a wrong dot where you don't want it to be click on backspace and that dot will go Okay, now gone all around my subject. Now I will just draw a few random points, and when I reach the starting point, I'll click on it to create a selection around the human figure. Now I want to select the background and not the man, so I need to invert the selection. For this, you need to click on select, and you have an invert object uh, option. So click on that, and now it's not the man but the background that is selected. so then you need to cut out the background so click on edit and cut so there you go you have only the man and go to select and none so in case you want to move this figure somewhere you can use the move tool right here to move it around like this okay now 
we want this white color layer around the figure so for that what I'll be doing is I'll create another layer okay and place it underneath the image layer now I'll go to the image layer and right click so I get a, a pop-up list right here with a lot of options in the bottom you will see an option called alpha to selection so click on that and you will see a selection around this man so go to your working layer go to select and click on grow so I'm going to grow this by 10 and click on OK so the selection has grown by 10 now I want to fill it with white so since BG color is white, I'm going to use the BG color to fill it in. And there you go. You have a white color outline around the man. Now, I need to bring this red color glow around him. For that, I'll create another layer. I'll name it layer 3 and place it beneath layer 2. That is the white outline. Then, I will right click on the white layer and click on alpha to selection so this layer right here is selected now I'll go to my working layer go to select and grow this time by 5 and ok so you can see the selection has grown I'm going to change my FG color foreground color to red then I'll go to edit and fill with FG color and select none so now you can see there is a red, red layer around the white layer but it still doesn't look like the blur so what I do is I'll go to the filters and there's a blur option and you get a list like this when you click on it so I'll click on Gaussian blur so for example you can take 50 okay okay now if you are not satisfied the by the way it looks you can just go again to filters blur Gaussian blur and change the amount of blur according to your wish and then click on okay okay that looks much better now I'm going to add the text here so I I'm writing the text in Malayalam so I'll be using Google input tools so let me open Google input tools so if you're using any other language other than English you can use Google input tools to translate it into the language you wanted so for now I am writing in Malayalam so I am going to translate it to Malayalam so you just need to type in the word and you get the text so I am going to copy Go to the GIMP, go to the text tool right here and click on it. So now you're using the text tool. I'll click here and paste the text. So if you feel like it doesn't fit in one, you can just select the part and oops. So you can just select the word, cut it and paste it in another text box like this. Now you can select the text, make sure you select it to make changes and choose a font. There are a lot of fonts but I am going for Manjari Bold and I am going to make the size 92. And then you can use the move tool which is right here and at 
adjust it like how you like. Now I'll go back to the text tool, select it and select the same font and make the size 92. Okay, and then again I'll use the move tool to align it. So I have two more lines to add. So I'll go back to Google Input Tools and type my text. So type in and then copy and paste. Copy, go to GIMP, use the text tool and paste. So I feel like uh, this one word should go in an other text box. So I'll cut that and paste it in another box. And now I'll select this and change the font to Manjari Bold. And for this I'll make the size 90. Okay, too much size. Okay, 90 and move it right here so make sure you're selecting the word box or you'll be moving the background layer okay now go back to text change the font and increase the size to 90 then use the move tool to align it Okay, so we are done with aligning the text. Now, we have to give this white outline to our text. So for that, we will be using the same technique we used with the image. First, we will create a layer and place it under one of the text layers. Okay. Then right click on the text layer and you'll get the pop up list. Alpha to selection, go to the working layer, select, grow by 5, ok, and edit, fill with BG color. Then go to select, none. There you go, you have an outline for one line, just like the one we have in the design. So now we'll be repeating the same step for the other three lines. Okay. Create a new layer. Place it under the text. Right click alpha to selection. Go to select. Grow by 5. Okay. Edit and fill with BG color. Select. None. Then we make another layer. Okay, and place it under the next line, right click, alpha to selection, go to the working layer, select, grow by 5, okay, edit, fill with BG color, select, none. Then we will create another layer, okay, place it under the next text line, alpha to selection, Go to the working layer, select grow by 5, ok, edit and fill with background color, select none. Ok, so now if you take a look at this and our design, you see that everything is present. The image, the white layer, the blur, the text and the white outline for the text. So we are done. Now I'll show you how to export your project. So for this, first go to file and you need to save your work. So I'll just write it, give it some heading. Which you can identify. Okay. 
okay so now I have saved this now uh, I am going to export this so for this click on the file and you will have an export option so click on that yeah and you will see this the heading like this now click on the export button and you have so many options right here you don't need to do anything just click on export and your image is exported so i hope all of you found this video useful and please try to make your own thumbnails using this if you have any doubts related to making thumbnails using gimp you can post it in the comments and i'll be happy to clear your doubts thank you